what appears to be a little gap. And then we got one more, I think, small up to go before we're done going up before we see Dan. Then I do have two mountains to climb later today, but this is what we got for now. Once again, really enjoying a rhododendron forest walk of fairy tale land. We really like this a lot. What? Oh, yeah. Awesome. We found this slimy, sluggy thing. Don't know what it is. It's like a snail without a shell. That's what it looks like to me. That might actually be what that is. So we just met a couple guys going up the trail. We're not actually that far behind our tramley today. Making pretty good time going downhill. Um, I got to introduce them to Gut Hooks, which is the fantastic app that lets you like know where you are on trails and you download like pieces of it at a time and it's super. So if you're gonna be a back a backpacker might look into Gut Hook, it's a really nice app. Uh yeah, this is a really big tree. It's really big. I like it. Anyway, we got another mile. Ish, a little over a mile to go before we get to uh, Dix Creek Gap, where we will be meeting Dan, where he plans to be doing uh, trail magic. Yay! We are coming up on something called Moreland Gap, which is a gap. And gaps usually always mean that you're at the end of going down and you're about to go up. But in this case, if we're going up, it's not much because we've got a lot more down to do for the next mile. Um... But it is kind of cool that there is a little gap here. I think this is Moreland Gap anyway. There is a little stream taking you to water. And that's pretty much that. And we are going to continue on. We were just standing down there. And there was this, all of a sudden, this cracking in the woods. We're like, and time to go. And then we started talking to the bears, just in case. And we've been making noise ever since. Hello, bear. Don't want to take your space. We're just going to get out the way now. And stuff like that. We got a little more up, and then a heller steep down. At any moment, the T-Rex could bend down and gobble us up. Or maybe we'll be rescued by a lovely brontosaurus or whatever they're calling them these days. <sighs> Another episode of Jurassic Park. It wasn't a T-Rex or a brontosaurus. It was a Hubzen Hubzensaurus that popped out of the rhododendrons. Was the grandparents' sauruses. You never know what kind of dinosaurs will come out of these here jungles. <laughs> so theoretically, we're walking up on Dickus Creek Gap, where hopefully there is food. Would you like to use a walking stick? Oops. Would that be helpful? Oh, I'm okay. It's, oh, okay. it's like nice for the stepping down, I find. Especially these steep ones. Mm -hmm. After what seems like an eternity of walking downhill, we finally come to Dix Creek Gap, which has a highway on it. Oh my god. I can't believe there's civilization just right here. And there's Tramily. Tramily and family and the picnic table. This is the best moment ever. Maven just ran me to a country store to see if they had a bathroom. Ooh. What do we got? Got some tampons and some food. Looks like this one's got a rope in it, a cup. Battery. Some batteries. Toothbrush. I bet nobody picks that up. Yeah. Some barbecue sauce or something. And that may or may not have water in it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. 
And we are, where are we on this map? Oh, we're way up there on this map. Dang. We're almost to the end of this map. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Whew. Had a fantastic break at Dix Creek Gap. Um, real nice and easy to get to. There's picnic tables. I had Tramley and my family and Trail Magic. Ron, the shuttle driver, came and was giving out lollipops while he was picking up some of our people from before. Poplar hitched out. Dan drove me out to the restroom. Uh, we got back. I started loading my pack. And Poplar showed up and she's actually ahead of me. Um, and we're climbing. Climbing mountains. So I thought I'd update you while I was catching my breath. Sorry about all the huffing and puffing. I forgot to mention that little bit got off the trail with Grandma and Grandpa. She's going to go back to the Airbnb and take a shower and be back on trail with her dad tomorrow. But they're going to do like a short hike and meet at me at a shelter. Maybe after going and doing something fun like at a water park or something. So yeah, uh, I'm back to approximately 60 steps. I just put a bunch of weight in my pack, which decreases the number of steps going up. But this up isn't very long, hopefully. This cool looking tree seems to mark the tent site above Dick's Creek Gap, which means I'm gonna have a short reprieve of going down before I gotta climb up, like most of the rest of the day. Whew. This tree looks like a big old tobacco pipe or something. Ah, oh, it's awesome. So I'm still climbing that first mountain after Dix Creek. Um, it's going to go down for a second, but I still gotta go up about, I don't know, I think 50 feet before it goes down like a thousand and then back up like a thousand or something. Maybe it's only three or four hundred. I don't know. In the picture it looks pretty steep. But uh, it's only a few hundred feet as opposed to twelve hundred which we did yesterday. So it can't be as bad as yesterday. That's that's what I know. Well I passed up Poplar. She's behind me somewhere. She's going down so it's down is slower for her. This must be the gap that it said we would come to, although I haven't seen a sign, it does start going up here again. So I'm gonna take a break and put my feet up in the air before I gotta climb for a couple miles. Just finished taking a break at that gap. There's the name of it. Just met two girls named Rainbow and Rambo hiking. Of course, they went right past me. Uh, I told them to say hello to everybody at the shelter when they get there. And I'll see them in a couple hours. So I've probably got about an hour and a half to two hours left, depending on how I go. But I found that when you find a fancy sitting spot like this, you just, sometimes you got to take yourself up on it. Um, oh, I've moved up to 100 paces before every stop, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm going to get going again. So I just took a minor spill. Uh, and my whole pack like fell on my head and stuff. Messed with my count a little bit. Um, I didn't get hurt. I was, I fell up. Like, upstairs. So, I was at like count 66. Oh, well. I think I've got about 200 feet more to climb. Then I gotta climb down 100, up 100, and then it's down 600. That's what I got left today. Uh, in two miles. A little less than two miles, I believe. Okay. Trail goes this way. This looks like a top. Tops always seem to have big, uh, uh, big rocks or something on them. Anyway, there's this fabulous sitting rock waiting for me over here. I'm going to sit and eat a snack before I go down and up. Looks like there's been camping here. But look at this. This is just asking for a pack to lean on it, as long as there's no snakes on it. Yeah, I see. None. None that I can see. Yay. Sometimes the trail gives you lemons. 
Okay, so looks like these are gonna be our best views of the day. With all the trees. It's better for me than it is for you. But it's pretty darn good for me. This is the most beautiful blue blaze I've seen so far. Plum Orchard Gap, shelter on its way, and a beautiful butterfly. Aww. Okay, so this is Plum Orchard Shelter, and it is three-tiered. There's like a loft and then a higher loft. Groovy. I don't know where the... Where's the privy from here down there? Is it far? I'm not going now. I just want to know how far things are because my feet hurt. It's about equal distance between the water and the discharge. And we've learned our lesson. This thing is to keep our packs away from the mice. That's what it's for. I'm told that the privy at Plum Orchard Shelter, Gap Shelter, whatever, is full of bees. Oh, it's another one of those with the weird swinging door pretending to be a wall, but that's not nailed down thing. And let's see. Bees, I hear them. Doesn't seem as bad as the ones from yesterday. I haven't opened it yet, but nope. Does not seem bad at all to me. Bees must have exited for the day. Mm -hmm.